New South Wales has recorded 19 new local cases of COVID-19 from 67,000 tests. 17 of the infections have been linked to existing cases. Two are under investigation. Chief Health Officer Dr Kerry Chant says seven cases were in isolation for their entire infectious period. What I want to see in progressive days is that we start seeing all of the cases being effectively isolated that we're announcing, and that's going to be a a key indicator of success. At the moment, we are still seeing some cases that were potentially infectious in the community, but what we're hoping is because of the lockdown, the number of interactions those cases have had where there is a potential for transmitting the virus would have decreased significantly. Federal health officials have removed age restrictions on adults who want the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. This means anyone can get it, but they have to speak to their doctor for advice. The government says it is up to everyone to assess their own risk. Pfizer is still recommended for those aged under 60. COVID-19 Task Force Commander, Lieutenant General John Fruin, told the Nine Network the government isn't changing its mind. We've been in the very fortunate position of having, uh, you know, very low rates of community transmission, but as the recent outbreaks in Victoria uh, and now New South Wales and also uh, we're seeing cases in the Northern Territory, WA and other places, Uh, You know, it's a reminder that uh, the COVID virus isn't done with us yet. So uh, we need to make uh, risk-based judgments about giving people access to vaccines. More than 2 million people in Western Australia's Perth and Peel regions are in lockdown. Today is day one. The lockdown will last four days. Residents can only leave home for essential reasons which includes vaccination. The lockdown was announced on Monday after a second case was detected. The second case also has the Delta variant. Premier Mark McGowan says he knows lockdowns are frustrating, but says they are necessary. The lockdown will be in place for four days at a minimum. We will continue to review the situation based on testing numbers, and information from our contact tracing teams and provide updates when we can. We hope this will be a circuit breaker, which will give our testers and contact tracers time to nail down a truer picture of how far this latest outbreak has spread. There were no new locally acquired COVID-19 cases in Victoria. Two infections were detected in overseas travellers who are in hotel quarantine. 21,000 tests were done. The death toll from the collapse of a 12-storey apartment building near the United States city of Miami has risen to 11. Around 150 people are still missing. Authorities have been searching for five days. Emergency services say they will continue looking as long as necessary. The former rulers of Ethiopia's Tigray region say they're back in control of the regional capital. It comes after eight months of fighting with the federal government. Thousands of people have been killed in the conflict. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands are on the brink of famine and more than two million have been displaced. Ethiopia says the ceasefire will last until the end of the farming season in Tigray in September. You're listening to SBS News in Easy English. I'm Sofia Petrovic.